Okay, welcome back everyone. Our coverage of the coronavirus outbreak continues. In fact, we just learned during the break, Wallingford Public Schools will now be closed coming up uh, tomorrow through March 27th. Again, that's Wallingford starting tomorrow through March 27th. So yet another school uh, that we're just learning about. Um, obviously, a lot of people right now have questions. We are trying to get you some answers tonight from the chair of the Department of Internal Medicine at Manchester Memorial and Rockville General Hospital. Dr. Saud Anwar is also a state senator and he's joining us us right now live from the newsroom doctor thank you very much for being here with us tonight thank you so much for having me mark let me ask you so you specialized in in treating lung disease is my understanding talk a little bit i understand this is a uh, potentially obviously fatal if it gets to the lungs what is the situation with this well uh, the, the good news is that overwhelming majority of the people will be fine but there is going to be a segment of our population and, and what we have learned from uh, China, from Italy, from Korea is that there is going to be a segment of our population and most of them are usually in the older age group above the age of 65, not that 65 is older, but that's what we are seeing. And, and then they are likely to develop pneumonia, secondary infections, and what we call multi-organ failure, ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome, where they need ventilators. So that is the, a small segment of the population that may have that severe illness, which is life-threatening. Doctor, do you think there's a chance right now that people have it and they don't know it right here in Connecticut? Unfortunately, yes, that is the truth. The reason is we don't have the test as easily available across the country right now. And that's part of the reason that it's, it's very fair and, and safe to uh, understand and recognize that there is community transmission happening at this time. You know, a lot of people like to message or, or, or say things to us on social media. The flu obviously is, is quite deadly as well. We had more deaths here in Connecticut this week, but, but how is this different from the flu? Obviously we know more about the flu. We know very little about coronavirus. So the simplistic, simplistic way I would explain it is that uh, coronavirus is like a flu on steroids. So in other words, its likelihood of transmission is much more than flu. That's one thing. And the second thing is that uh, it also has far more higher um, case fatality rate. It's almost seven times to 10 times, depending on the data, than deadly than flu. And that's why it is important to protect yourself from it and then make sure that you stay safe and have the right treatment if you get very sick. Well, Dr. Saud Anwar, that's a very good place to end it. People need to take care of themselves. I'd imagine you would say that. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. All right. we